Hello. Welcome back at the culturelovers.eu channel. This week we are blessed to have the architect of the original French road system as a guest speaker. Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa, more commonly known as Marcus Agrippa, lived from 64 BC to 12 BC and was a very close friend of Emperor Augustus. He will update us on a city that became quite important during his days. I am referring to Mediolanum Santonum, currently known as Saints. So, let me welcome to you Marcus Agrippa, the governor of Gallia. Thank you Don Quixote. Thank you. It is a great honor to get the opportunity to talk to the audience of your YouTube channel. I understand that there are quite a number of travelers under your audience. I am sure that they are grateful to the work that we started just over 2,000 years ago. Okay, the subject for today is Saintes in France, or better as we know it in Rome, Mediolanum Santonum. To scope this a bit better, I will cover the period of the century before Christ, as well as the century after. That is the period that I know a little bit better. To better understand the situation in France 100 years before Christ, you need to think of it as a country filled with quibbling Celtic tribes. We called them Gauls, but what is in a name? Gauls were engaged in agriculture. They also were all the time fighting with their neighboring tribes as if they were involved in the Champions League. They organized themselves around somewhat larger settlements that were protected by a bulwark. Such a settlement is called an oppidum. The Santonis, a Gallic tribe in the southwest of France, started to build their settlement, or oppidum, at the banks of the Charente around 70 BC. You can find this city on the map. It is called Saintes and is located just north of Bordeaux. The Santonis were a bit odd, for Gauls at least, since they showed off as being quite hospitable. As an example, they integrated quite a few Swiss Helveti tribes before. Likewise, around 60 BC, Julius Caesar's army was greeted with a friendly face by these people. We Romans were allowed to build up our camp next to the city. Around that time, the Santonis began to call their city Mediolanum Santonum. As a reward for their friendliness, I made this city the capital of Aquitaine. The city was also included in the new Roman road network. In many ways, this paved the way for future prosperity. The city evolved into a modern Roman city. A forum, a temple for Augustus, an aqueduct, thermal baths, a bridge over the Charente, and an amphitheater became its features. These are all quite impressive developments, as you can imagine. In the first half of the second century, many of these positive developments ended. The cause of this is unclear, but it's a pity. Anyway, that was my update on Saintes. I will pass back the microphone to Don Quixote. I am sure he will add some practical information, in case you want to see this nice little historic city yourself. Okay, thank you for listening, and hope to see you another time on this channel again. Bye. Thank you Agrippa. Thank you for your wonderful story about the Santones and the history of saints. Thank you as well for all the roads you built. I am not sure if you are aware how important roads have become these days. Okay, this was the update for this week. I am not sure what the topic will be next week, we have several options. It could be on the topic of Charlemagne and his misfortune at the Roncevaux Pass, or on how we like to combine traveling through France with traveling through its history. We will see. Anyways, if you are curious to how this develops, feel free to subscribe. So for now. See you next week.